So boys and girls, just in conclusion, what this psalm teaches us is that God is a personal God who reveals himself, makes himself known through his word so that we can respond to him with faith and obedience. Two of the greatest wonders that everyone on earth can see are the sky and the sun. And they tell us that God is the creator and that he is great. We know that some people ignore this truth, but everyone anywhere in the world can know these things about God just by looking around at them. Boys and girls, when we understand that God is the great and powerful creator of everything, we should respond like creation by praising God. I hope, boys and girls, that you can see that it is reasonable for God to expect those living in his world to live in a way that pleases him. He is the creator of all things. This world belongs to him. I want you to pause this video right now and just discuss with your moms and dads why are rules important. So think about rules at school. Can you even remember what school is like? Um, what about rules at home, rules on the sports field? Just think about rules and also I want you to discuss rules that are good and rules that are bad. Boys and girls, all the rules that God has given us are good. Not one single one of, one of them is bad. The psalm teaches us that God made the world and that he has told us the best way to live in his world. We can know how God wants us to live through his word, the Bible. Did you notice how the psalm says that, the, that God's word is a joy and a delight? Boys and girls, I think that you will agree with me that when you read through God's word, you very quickly realize that it is impossible to keep all of his rules. Even David knew that. He knew that he couldn't live perfectly as God requires. In fact, when David read God's good and perfect word, do you know what he realized? David realized what he had done wrong. Not only in his actions, but also in his thoughts, in his feelings, and in his words. David knew that he needed a redeemer, a rescuer, who could pay for all the times that he did not do, that he did not live in obedience to God's word. Boys and girls, God's word is wonderful. It tells us what God is like. It tells us what we are like. It tells us where we are getting things wrong. And I know sometimes you don't like to be told where you're getting things wrong, but this is so important. If we get the things wrong in this life, it matters for eternity. And God has been kind and gracious to us. And in his word, he has shown us how he wants us to live so that we don't have to keep getting it wrong. You see, his word tells us how we can be friends with God by trusting in Jesus. Boys and girls, we can rejoice when God's word shows us where we are going wrong. You see, because it reminds us that we need God's forgiveness and we need God's help to change. And boys and girls, God is ready to offer us both of those things, forgiveness and a changed life because of Jesus.